Okay, now let's base up, let's, what we're covering now, what we're moving into, folks, is not only how to learn new techniques, but also how to quickly and profoundly hook up with each customer. Bearing in mind now that we're shooting for a 60 minute sales transaction. Okay, yeah, maybe it'll go to 90, but any, anything over 90 is a bozo no no. 90 or less, shooting for 60. Um, so let's lay a foundation. What are the three things we sell? Ourselves, ourselves, the car, the store, ourselves, the car, the store, okay? When we are selling ourselves, what is the customer buying? What is the customer looking for from a salesperson? Trust. Trust. Trust, awesome, trust, and that's the number one answer whenever I ask that. <laughs> Great, what does that mean? Let's break that down even further, be specific. Comfortable. Comfortable. Credible. Credible. You say we need to be competent. And whenever I ask this question, um, these are the four most common answers I get. You may want to write this down. This is what today's customer is looking for from a salesperson. Number one, are we easy to do business with? Are we comfortable? Are we easy to do business with? Number two, do we have their best interests at heart? Are we looking out for them, or at least equal to ours? Okay, are we looking out for them as well? Number three, are we competent, both in process and product? Can they believe what we say? Are we competent in product and process? And number four, are we confident? Incidentally, people with uh, more than 10 years experience in the car business, confidence has surpassed enthusiasm as the emotion to transfer. I looked at your head shaking yes. Okay, I, I, I get it that you get it too. Um, I still have colleagues professing enthusiasm, enthusiasm, and, and, and I'm not knocking, I mean, be enthused by all means. But just be mindful that many customers are perceiving enthusiasm as a disingenuous, hollow sales ploy. Again, many of our customers have already made the buying decision. They don't need us to be enthused to fall in love with our product. So I'm not at all saying don't be enthused, but I am saying it should not be more important than confidence. Um, confidence helps the customer feel comfortable moving forward just a little bit further or taking action on a decision they've already made. So Nate, let's just summarize real quick. Are we easy to do business with? Are we looking out for them? Are we confident? Are we confident? That's what the customer is judging today's market. So any talk track I share with you, any strategy that a manager, another trainer, or coach introduces you to, measure it by those four criteria. Now it doesn't mean that you're not gonna have techniques in your toolbox that don't fit that criterion, but be careful, start filtering.